Chief Marketing and Communication Officer, Abhi Bank Limited, to kindly that express the deal for the sponsor. Uh, Assalamu alaikum ji, distinguished uh, guests of the 15th Karachi Literature Festival, Excellencies, authors, uh, members of the media, um, nominated authors and, and the judges. Uh, it's, it's, it's great to be here this evening. And as we congrat, we, we, we've been saying the 15th Karachi Literature Festival without really pausing on the word 15th. 15 saal ek bohat lamba arsa hota hai for any idea to be created from scratch and then to be sustained. We, have, we know a lot about great ideas, but how many great ideas persist over 15 years, year upon year? And in a country like Pakistan, which is supposedly renowned for its unpredictability, to have something as consistent as the Karachi Literature Festival in a city which supposedly is also renowned for its unpredictability, I think speaks a lot about the passion of the people who are behind this idea and the tenacity with which they have pursued it. It's about a lot about perseverance. And I think we all need to, at this point in time, give a big round of applause to the organizers of the Karachi Literature Festival over the last 15 years. Uh, the need for a cultural festival uh, like Karachi Literature Festival, I think, has never been more apparent in times like these. I was reading somebody the other day that we are living in a world and I think that's true for the world. It was actually not an ex observation about Pakistan. It was an observation by the U about the US uh, in the New York Times by the columnist David Brooks. And he said that the US society and what I think he said about the US society, I think is pretty apt for Pakistan society. And I think many societies around the world. The, the society that we live in right now is on one hand, over politicized, but on the other hand, undercultured, under moralized, and under spiritualized. And I think what a literature festival does is, and the, and the, and the reason this is so, because we are all, we are living in a whirlwind of information. We are bombarded by competitive narratives and ideologies. We do not know what is right for wrong. Uh, and and it's through this cacophony of sound and fury, I think what the literature festival does it, it brings us close to books. And what, what do books do? They give us, they give us what, I, what, what again someone says, emotional wisdom. They also enrich our perspectives. And when you, have, when you get emotional wisdom and when you get enriched perspective, you develop a better understanding as to why people behave, how they behave, and how you can regulate your own behavior in the light of what the books and those depth of human understanding tells you. So I think at this point in time, an endeavor like Karachi Literature Festival, in a city like Karachi, in a country like Pakistan, which is over-politicized for all the wrong reasons, I think is a shot in the arm. And I think we need to really appreciate the, 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 the timing of this Literature Festival, especially this year, especially this year, given what we see happening all around us. Someone asked me the other day, uh, what does a bank like HBL have to do with a literature festival? And I actually said that, why don't you extend that question and say, what does a bank like HBL have to do with a cricket league called PSL, which starts tomorrow in Lahore? And maybe you can also go back and say, what does a bank like HBL have to do with esports gaming that we uh, partnered ourselves yesterday in Karachi? Gaming, literature festival, cricket series. What do these things have common? Not much. What do these things have common with banking? Nothing. So in one respect, HBL has got nothing to do with being part of the literature festival. But on the other, on the other hand, we've got everything to be part of the literature festival. As a bank that has been there for the last 80 years, we are a part of the society. And the bank believes that for us to thrive, we need to be living in a dynamic society. Also, when you say 80 years, this is a bank that does not think of the today. It does not think of tomorrow. It thinks of 2050. 
26 years from now, where would Pakistan be? What sort of a place would Pakistan be like? What sort of a place would HBL like to be operating in? And above all, what can HBL, the bank as, an, as, an, as a corporate entity, which employs roughly 25,000 people, serves over 36 million customers, what we can do to play our part in ensuring that the society that the Pakistanis who are currently under 30, as Arshad pointed out, which is the majority of the Pakistanis, will inherit. What sort of Pakistan will we leave for those people in 2050? And I think initiatives like the Karachi Literature Festival or the PSL League, which happens tomorrow in Lahore, HBL, PSL, or the sporting games, allows us to engage with the youth of Pakistan, to give them an opportunity and hope through this platform. So the KLF is not just about literature, but I think it's a platform for hope. And that's how we should really look at. And I would also really urge the Oxford University Press to really think about renaming the Karachi Literature Festival. Because I think your remit has gone beyond literature. Uh, you talk about poetry, you talk about art, you talk about movies, you have got um, right behind you uh, HBL art exhibitions there. Um, you, uh, it's a public art exhibition. You can go there and look at the masterpieces that HBL has in its collection because we believe in public interaction with art. And just behind that is the kids' children art extravaganza that we have put up for the next two years. So when you look at all of that stuff, Arshad, I think you should really call it the Karachi Cultural Festival because I think you've really gone beyond literature. So, so, so that's the sort of, uh, you know, that's the sort of role that Karachi Literature Festival is playing. And, and that's a kind of, association the HBL has in ensuring that we, uh, we, we go ahead and, and do that. Uh, HBL believes in the long run. And I think I'll, I'd like to conclude by saying that I think all of us who are here today, whether as authors, dignitaries, um, keynote speakers, youngsters, everyone who's around here, I think we need to think of, of, of what our role is when we leave the next three days and say, when someone asks you, what did you do? Where were you with the last three days? And I think I'd like to uh, quote a couplet from Fez Ahmed Fez. And I think that probably sums up very well as to what we were doing in the last three days. When you go back home and you probably can say, hum parvareshe loho kalam karte rahenge. Jo dil pe guzarti hai, wo rakam karte rahenge. I will keep on cherishing the tablet and the pen. I'll go on writing down what passes over the heart. Bhagavad Shukriya, have a great evening. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you.